Are you even more ruthless than you used to be? Well, how early in the process of sort of telling this story or creating this story did the shape of it kind of come together? Not just having, say, an ending in the middle, but even the parallel framework of, of uh, him fishing, you know, how, how early on did that sort of emerge as the way to tell this in a more impressionistic way? It, it kept happening that the more I was reading about him, I kept finding these just archetypical uh, moments and these and these moments that were loaded with symbolism and and I was shocked how big and American and and epic the story was because here's a guy who's done everything he can throughout his life to diminish his own story and act like it's nothing and when you read about him in the great love of his life who gave him his ambition and then his daughter coming out of the closet and how he embraced her and accepted her and and then you see the change in America and then the ending that we have it, it just it kept astounding me it kept I, I couldn't believe how much his personal life matched the arc of American history and how they almost were one in the same in a lot of ways it was uh, it was a revelation I mean Believe me, the last thing you want to do is call a producer and say, hey, I think we're making a Dick Cheney movie. They, they want to hear, hey, we're making a Spider-Man movie. Like, they don't want to hear that. But the story was just screaming out to be told. And, and the idea that Dick Cheney had done everything he can to like not have it told made it even more exciting.